1945, the Soviet Union continues to expand in both military might and political influence. Soviet Russia holds a commanding position in the future destiny of the world. But it was the United States that held the secret to atomic power. Mr. Truman declares we must have atomic control. The flags of freedom fly all over the world. This superiority would be short-lived, however, as Stalin was already at work on a plan of his own. While searching for uranium on a tiny island off the southeast coast of the Soviet Union, Russian engineers discovered E-99, a powerful and unprecedented source of energy. Seeing an opportunity for further world domination, Stalin authorizes unlimited development funds to explore the capacities of the substance. Project director Viktor Barasov establishes an island research station, Katorga 12. For his groundbreaking research, he receives the Order of Lenin. When Nikita Khrushchev succeeds Stalin, he accelerates the program, pressuring Barasov to begin field experiments. However, not only is E-99 capable of delivering unimagined power, it is also incredibly volatile. Yet Barasov is pressured to begin tests. The disaster has no known survivors. Moscow buries the installation effectively wiping it from the map. 2010, a US spy satellite flying over the area is blinded by a radiation surge. Fearing another Chernobyl, and suspicious of Moscow's secrecy, the reconnaissance mission over Katorga 12 is ordered by the Pentagon. Forward. We were hit, God damn it! I repeat, we were hit! <coughs> Titan 1 Actual here. What's your status, Captain? It got punched out. Copter's down and we're scattered. Don't know how many KIAs yet. Over. Satellite's got you about 30 clicks south of a radio tower. Get your team there, Captain. We're pulling you out. Understood, sir. Spartan team, if you copy. Switch your comm gear to TAC-3. Meet up at the rally point. E-99, 
99. He's a 